Hi everybody, I'm going to record a short video here today to show you how to better put in indicators like the colored indicators here on the right hand side instead of putting in raw shapes. So the problem with raw shapes is that while I can select all the raw shapes and align them against one another by going to the format tab, choosing the align drop down menu and choosing like align center for example, I can't unfortunately align them against the cells that they appear to be in because they are actually not in the cells at all. Instead, they are floating above these cells. So the right answer is actually to get rid of these things. Um, instead, use something called conditional formatting. So I'm going to go through here, I'm going to highlight the various cells and get rid of them. And what I need is, I need to have some value in the indicator. Now I'll go ahead and reference the difference as my value and just use that. Okay, so now I'm using the same percentage I see on the left and I want to use those to give me some sort of color value, some sort of icon. I go to conditional formatting at the top of the screen, click on the option for icon sets, and you can see that there's a red, yellow, green option here. I'm going to go down to the bottom where it says more, uh, more options, more rules, excuse me. And in doing so, I'm going to specify when a red ball shows up, a green ball shows up, and a yellow ball. Now, in our particular instance here, we definitely don't want to see anything but the icon, but we do need to use the values. So let's take a look at what the values are. As you can see over on the left, currently um, on product B, my actual is 51,000, my budgeted is 65,000. And that means a very large negative percentage because I'm not quite close to the budget yet. As opposed to the other ones where if I am close to the budget or if I'm over budget, I may want it to be a red or a yellow ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the red ball the highest of the values. And I'm going to say if it's above zero, then go ahead and make it red. Now if it's close to zero, in this case I'm going to say if it's greater than a negative 0 0.05, which is the same thing as saying uh, higher than negative 5%, well then that's getting close to zero and we still want it to be yellow. And if it's great, if it's less than negative 5%, we want it to turn green, and there it is. Uh, we see the green values when we are far away. We see the yellow values when we're getting close, and we see the red values when we're over. Last thing I'll do is highlight these cells, align center using the Home tab at the top of the screen, and that is a much better way of accomplishing our task.